Got a pretty exciting product to show you today. This is the Streamer X by Rode. It is available now. It's gonna run you $399 here in the US and I'll link to it in the description down below. Now, I am a big fan of Rode. I have all Rode microphones, I've had the Rodecaster Pro, I've got the Rodecaster Pro 2, and this Streamer X, for the first time, incorporates video. So it is a professional audio interface and video capture card for streaming. It's going to allow 4K capture up to uh, 30 frames. You can pass through 4K 60. It supports a variable video refresh rate. Uh, and it's got studio grade preamps in it and a bunch of other stuff that as we unbox it here, I'll highlight for you. So this video is only gonna be an unboxing. I'll come back later with actual hands-on kind of thoughts and impressions, but it's meant to be simple. So an all-in-one device that you simply hook up to your PC or your Mac, you plug in your microphones. It supports the wireless Rode microphones if you've got those. It supports XLR mics. It's got its own preamp, so it will supply phantom power if you need it. I mean, it, in theory, it's going to do it all. And after I test all these things out, I'll come back and let you know how good it is. Now, in the box, you saw a little safety guide, but then you also get a power adapter that'll plug into the wall. And then we get the Streamer X. I'm going to come back to this in just a moment. We also get a USB-C to USB-C cable. This is a high-speed cable that supplies power as well, so you will need to use that cable or one of equivalents uh, if you're going to use your own. And then remember that power brick that I showed you. Here is the power cord for it, so you can plug that into your wall uh, and power it up. Now let's get to the Streamer X. As I mentioned, this thing is incredibly small. It's going to fit in the palm of your hand, and we've got dials here that feel real good when you turn them. You can press in on them for both your headphone as well as your microphone. You've got pads that are going to be very familiar to anybody who's used the Rosecaster Pro or the Rodecaster Pro 2, uh, and you can configure those as well. Now, the nice thing about this is on the back side, we get a number of inputs. So not only are you going to have that phantom power button that's marked P48 if you need it for microphones, but you're also going to get an XLR input. You get a headphone jack, you get a microphone as well. We get HDMI in as well as a through. These are HDMI 2.0, they're not 2.1. And then we have your USB-C ports uh, as indicated. So you get one that you can plug your power into, and then you have the one that's highlighted as one that goes to your PC or Mac. And then number two could be the consoles. On the back side, you have rubber footers as well as a nice threaded mount if you want to hook it up to a tripod or something like that. So I'm going to give this its full paces and try it out, and I'll come back and let you know how it works out. This one, I'm really excited about it. It's a first for Rode. It is called the Streamer X. It's available now. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I will try to respond to them as I can. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe for even more content, and I will catch you next time.